Chris Dawson from Tame Bay, and I'm here with Reid Wegner from Rakuten to talk about Japan. So, Reid, tell me about Rakuten in Japan. What's the marketplace like there? Yeah, absolutely. Rakuten is the largest e-commerce marketplace in Japan. We're actually the largest online sales channel in the Japanese market. Uh, about a quarter of all online transactions in Japan go through the marketplace. And we have a great cross-border program, so we're really excited to bring retailers from around the world uh, onto the Japanese market to sell to Japanese customers. So you're here in London today to talk to British European retailers. What type of retailers are you looking for? What sort of products will work in Japan? What, what, what segments are you looking at? Yeah, you know, the fashion category is really powerful. Uh, Japanese customers are really interested in fashion from abroad. And beauty and cosmetics are really good as well. Uh, both those categories do very well cross-border. They're kind of small, light, shippable items, uh, good AOVs, and not a lot of difficulty getting them from the UK to Japan. So you talk about not a lot of difficulty getting from products from the UK to Japan. If I'm going to sell on Rakuten in Japan, do I have to have product in Japan? Can I ship from the UK? What are the logistics like? What about returns? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in terms of logistics, most of the retailers we work with today from outside Japan are doing cross-border logistics. So it can be a direct shipment from a UK fulfillment center over to the end buyer in the Japanese market. No need to store inventory in Japan, so you can draw on existing inventory. That makes it really simple. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. And are there any restrictions like, do I have to have a Japanese company, for example? Well, I mean, it's, it's definitely easier to sell in Japan with a Japanese company, but part of our cross-border program is enabling UK merchants, retailers and brands to sell in Japan without a Japanese entity. So we have third-party service partners in Japan who we work with to provide Japanese business entities on behalf of UK merchants. So they also do operational services, and, and that way UK merchants can sell directly without going to Japan and setting up a business. And of course, the guys at Pentagon who are running um, Retail Without Borders today can also help. But okay, so I can get the goods to Japan. Let's get down to the important stuff. What about the money? How do I get paid? What are Japanese uh, favored payment methods and how do I actually get the money back to the UK? Yeah, I mean, the largest, the dominant payment method by far is credit card. So that's a pretty normal transaction. Some Japanese customers also do pay by, by bank transfer. We also have a loyalty program that works kind of as a, a rocket and proprietary currency that customers pay with. But all those payments ultimately will get remitted to the operating partner in Japan in yen, in the local currency. And then the operating partner remits back to the, the merchant here in the UK. So that seems all fairly straightforward. So now I'm interested, um, maybe I'm in the cosmetics market or the, the fashion, I'm a fashion retailer or shoes. How do I get started? What would the first steps for me be? I think the first steps would be to have an initial consultation. You know, every brand is different. Every retailer has different objectives, different business requirements, and different challenges. So we try to work closely one-on-one -on -one with each UK brand that's interested in selling in the Japanese market. And I think we'll provide a simple URL in the video notes so that uh, you know people interested can go to that and maybe click through uh, to get a consultation set up. And from there, we can we can take next steps about sizing the business and getting the operations in place. And. Japan is a very different culture to the UK. Are there anything I need to know about things like customer service that Japanese people have different expectations? What, 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 what should I be prepared for? Yeah, that's a great question. The customer service expectations are very high in Japan. Fortunately, the, the service partners who we work with there can provide customer service in Japanese on behalf of UK retailers. So they'll try to really maintain that customer relationship um, and make sure that the UK brands interested in selling in Japan are represented well and that customers have really positive customer experiences. So for me as a UK brand, once I've chosen a partner to work with, it can be kind of almost quite hands-off and just orders come in, product shipped and they'll, they'll do everything locally for me. Well, I wouldn't say hands-off exactly. I mean, there's a lot of teamwork. I think mm -hmm. the way we try to set it up is to allow the, the business here in the UK to make the, the strategic decision making about how they want to approach Japan, uh, what the goals are there for the business, and then let the partner on the ground in Japan be the operator, you know, make decisions here, give instructions over there, and then execute on that side. So I've still got control of the business. Absolutely. And is there anything else you'd like to tell Tame Bay readers about why they should be considering Japan and Rakuten in, in particular? What's the, what's, what's, what's the main thing I should be looking at? Yeah, well, you know, Japan is the fourth largest e-commerce market in the world, which a lot of merchants often overlook. 
it seems simpler to sell to Europe because Europe's so close to the UK, but a lot of the European markets that, that UK retailers might initially look at selling into are much smaller. So if you look at where the money is, there's a big opportunity in Japan. It's a very developed market, the customers are sophisticated, and they're really interested in UK brands. So it's an important market not to overlook. Mm. So, and I guess especially with world events like Brexit coming up, it's just raising the profile of the UK around the world. Even Absolutely, if it's not yeah. Things. So thanks for that. What, what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that the URL for, for more information is below this video, and uh, so you'll be able to get more information. Um, if you're looking at Japan, um, fashion, cosmetics, um, consider selling on Rakuten. Absolutely. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Reed. Bye.